I've always had a dream to rescue an organ from a church and rebuild it in our house. The problem was that we needed to extend our house to fit the organ in, and that wasn't going to happen for a while. Until then, I wanted something to play on, so I looked at building something temporary using MIDI and a system called Hauptwerk. Longer term, the plan was to gradually rebuild the organ rank by rank and use Hauptwerk to substitute for the missing ranks. Fortunately, the action of the Willis organ I'd found was electric. This meant that each wind chest contained a zillion solenoids and a ton of wiring, and the wiring determined which pipes played and which didn't. The Pendleby open diapason, which had been added later, sat on its own wind chest. So once the house was extended, you'll have to check out a later video for that, the first rank to be installed would be the Pendlebury rank. To get the ball rolling, and because I was desperate to play something, I bought an old Fator Studio Logic SL161 keyboard off eBay, and I used a system called J-Organ to produce the sounds. The keyboard connected via a MIDI to USB cable to a small laptop. The laptop produced the sounds via J-Organ, and the laptop connected via my old Pioneer A400 amplifier to a couple of Celestian 5 speakers. It was fun to play, but I needed two manuals, keyboards, pedals, and some real stops. Then I found another Studio Logic keyboard, and I downloaded the free version of Hauptwerk. Isn't it amazing that they provide a fully functioning free version? And I used another MIDI to USB cable to connect the second keyboard to the laptop. I used the mini sample sets of the old independent church organ in Haverhill, Suffolk. This came from Lavender Audio and provided a similar set of stops to the Willis organ I'd rescued. Next were the pedals. I brought the Willis organ's pedals and bench out of storage and connected the pedals to the laptop using the MPC 32 MQR kit from MIDI Boutique, initially blue tacking the magnets to the pedals. This was the third MIDI device to connect to the laptop, so I swapped the MIDI to USB cables for a cheap MIDI merge box from China via eBay. For the swell pedal, I took out the modulation wheel from one of the keyboards, fastened it to the back of this pedal board, and connected a stiff wire rod from the swell pedal to the wheel. It wasn't exactly elegant, but it worked. Now I needed some stops. I found some old Compton stop tabs on eBay and used another MIDI encoder board from MIDI Boutique. I ground off some of the stop tab labels and used decal sheets to make them match the stops on the rescued Willis organ. Then I replaced the cheap Chinese MIDI merge box with a more reliable Kenton MIDI merge box. And I replaced the laptop with a Carillon music PC I bought second hand from the studio for £50. My interim practice organ was complete. Now I just had to get the house extended to fit the rest of the real organ.